Hello again. I'm trying to treat these topics all separately and try to make them very targeted so that you don't have to listen to a lot of things you're not interested in because I get tired of hearing my own voice so I can imagine that other people get tired of hearing my voice. Uh, I just want to talk for a minute about yeast and this might be a little controversial. You may not agree, That's which is fine. Follow, follow your own experience. I have found that yeast will keep in the freezer a minimum of 10 years. This is a this is a container of yeast that I actually have kept open in my freezer just because I was going through a hectic time in my life trying to get my uh, ducks all in a row, get them quacking. <laughs> and so I didn't even have a lid on this. Our freezer died in the summertime and I just transferred this into the one in the house. And I've got packages of, of yeast now that are laying in my garage that need to come in and be put in the freezer. But this yeast, I think I've had 10 years, and I made the French bread with it recently. If you haven't tried that French bread recipe that's on one of these videos, it's really dynamite, really a great recipe. But um, I just, I have a spoon in this one so that you can see it. Let's see if I can dump that in there. This is yeast that I bought in a one pound vacuum sealed bag. It's just granulated, it looks almost like sugar. And I have kept it in the door of my freezer wide open like this, and it made bread just fine, and it's years and years and years old. I have heard other people say that they've kept yeast in their freezer at least that long. I have a friend who has a number 10 can of yeast that's over 25 years old, and she opened it up and yeast it, and it was just fine. And I haven't seen people seal yeast in number 10 cans, and I don't exactly understand why. If This is my mock foil pouch. It's not really one mylar pouch. If you seal your excuse me, if you seal your yeast in uh, the little pouches or the bigger pouches, the full size pouches, if you seal your yeast in these pouches, it should last a good long time. If you seal it in a pouch or you keep it in the one pound vacuum sealed container that it comes in and you freeze it, you should be home free should be home free. You shouldn't have any trouble with it at all. I can't guarantee that, but it's been my experience and the experience of my friends that it should be just totally fine. I'm going to talk about a couple of different kinds of yeast in a, another video if you want to check that one out, but I'm going to end this one here in case that was all you wanted to hear. God bless. Take care. Bye.